Hey guys, Max from Diablo Sport here. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up your own virtual gauges using the Diablo Sport Trinity. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using a 2006 Chrysler 300 SRT8. Now the first step is to select the logging on the home screen. Once in the logging menu, you want to create a new log. And you'll have several options here. You can either start with an empty layout or use one of Diablo Sport's pre-existing layouts which were specifically designed for your vehicle. For this demonstration, we're gonna start from scratch with an empty layout. Click continue. Now you'll be presented with an empty gauge screen. In order to start populating with gauges, please press edit. And then we're gonna add a new gauge. We're going to select a large wiper gauge. Once you have your gauge selected, it will then prompt you to decide which parameter you would like. For the large wiper, we are going to go with RPM. Now, once you have the parameter selected for the gauge, we can either continue adding gauges using the edit function or edit the RPM gauge by clicking on it. We're going to click on the RPM gauge and we're going to set a shift light. We're going to change the current shift light. Click OK. Now, the Chrysler 300 SRT8 red lines at approximately 6100 RPM. So we're going to set the shift light for 6000 RPMs. Once you have your desired level, click enter. Continue. Now it's going to ask you um, which LED alarm you want. You can pick an individual LED or you can use all the LEDs or a progressive switch. We're going to use all the LEDs. And you can click no for the X output puck. This is specifically for diesel vehicles equipped with our extreme power pump. Now your RPM gauge has a 6000 RPM shift light attached to it. We're going to add another gauge now, clicking your edit button. And since we have that gauge fully populated with one, we're going to add a new gauge page. And again, edit, add a new gauge. For this, we're going to use a small digital gauge. For the small gauge, we're going to select Spark, and we're going to use the base Spark. Now that that's set, you can click on the gauge itself, and say you want to move it. You can actually move the gauge using your arrow buttons on the side of the screen. So we want that to be in the top right corner. Once you're satisfied with your position, click on the gauge again and then back and edit, add another gauge. We'll do a small radio gauge. For our second gauge, we're gonna select our air to fuel, click on that, and again, you have your gauge on the screen. If you wanna move it, again, click on the gauge, click and move the gauge, and using your arrows, you can move the gauge around again. Click on the gauge when you're finished. Now that we have our air and fuel and base spark gauges set up, we're going to set up just one more gauge for demonstration purposes. So click on edit, add a new gauge. For this, we are going to use a horizontal slider. And the parameter we are going to use will be coolant temperature. And again, if you want to move the gauge, we'll put that right in the middle. Now here's a gauge layout we just made. Uh, it's not the prettiest looking one. Um, if you're ready to save it and test it out, click the X button and then click yes. And you can set your own name for the gauge. We have successfully created and saved our layout. Now in order to see that layout, let's get out of the menu and we wanna go into monitoring. We're going to select our test layout, and there it is. Start our engine. And as you see, our gauges are working properly. I don't think Johan would like it if I would redline his car in our garage. So I'll forego that so you guys cannot see the shift lights we set up. But I assure you that they are there.
Now, if you're not up for creating your own gauge layout, you want to use one of Diablo Sport's pre-created ones and make a change to it. Simply click on logging, create a new log. You want to select the gauge you want to edit. For this, we're going to use the 05 to 06 Hemi. And as you can see, we have several gauge pages that are already made for you for that application. If you want to make a change to a specific gauge, simply click the gauge and you'll be presented with the same options from before. We want to change the shift light to 6,000 RPMs, it's just as we did before. Let's go ahead and change it. Press enter. And then we want to set up all LEDs and click no for the puck. And now you've made your correct changes. Now before you exit, you want to make sure you save your layout and just rename it. And there you go. Now to access these layouts, all you want to do is click on the monitoring menu in your home screen and you will see your new layout which we just edited right here. And we'll start our engine. And there you go. This concludes the Diablo Sport tutorial on how to set up and edit your virtual gauges. Stay tuned next week and we'll show you how to use your virtual drag strip. Thanks for choosing Diablo Sport.